Blake, you averaged about nine tackles a game over the past three seasons while you were with the Packers, then had 12 the other night against the Steelers. What went really well for you, and what can you use to build on going forward? Yeah, I think uh, my kind of comfort in kind of Pat's defense, understanding what he needs as a middle linebacker, having him coach me, uh, kind of helped me going into this season. Um, and then just his kind of style of coaching made it so simple to understand um, fundamentally. Um, and it just gave me kind of the ability to go attack and and be that kind of middle linebacker um, that I wanted to be. And also, I mean, I always have to give props to my my big guys up front. Um, they made they made the game extremely easy for me, um, taking two blockers at a time. Um, I told those guys I'll have an awesome uh, Christmas gift for them at the end of the year um, if we uh, keep this thing rolling. How smooth was the communication since you guys had not had any preseason games to work together? Yeah, I think overall that was the one kind of surprising aspect uh, was the communication. Uh, I think all across the board we, we did really well in that aspect, making sure we're – we were in the right checks at the right time, um, making certain adjustments throughout the game on the sidelines. Um, and I think overall it was, a, it was a very big positive for us. You, Bradbury, and Love were the only three players on the Giants who played every single snap defensively. Could you talk to me about the conditioning factor, again, because of this very mutated type of training camp? No, yeah, I think that's the one aspect that Coach Judge kind of always harped on for us making sure that we were conditioned, making sure that we were in the right shape to, to step in week one. Um, obviously, like you said, we didn't have any preseason games to be able to get in that game shape kind of mentality um, or form. And I think he did a great job for us and especially for myself. I felt like I was in the game and never had those moments where I felt like I was tired or kind of gassed out. Now, since the beginning of the 2018 season, Tariq Cohen is tied for third amongst NFL running backs with 152 pass receptions. Can you talk about the challenges in trying to keep him contained? Yeah, I think he's one of those running backs that whenever he's on the field, he's kind of a wide receiver in that aspect. Um, he obviously can do all the things in the run game, um, get on the edge, uh, extremely fast, extremely elusive, um, obviously a great punt returner. So when he does get the ball on offense in space, he's dangerous. And I think he's one of those guys that coaches talk about being the everyone at the point of attack um, to get him on the ground and making sure uh, we all as 11 are swarming to him and making sure we leverage him, whether he's inside the box or outside the box, catching screens or whatever he's doing on the field. I've been to Soldier Field, and those fans are one of the, the louder fans or groups of fans that I've heard over my time in the NFL. From your perspective, do you think it will be somewhat helpful that you won't have to deal with that crowd noise in Chicago? It'll be your first road game of the season. No, yeah, I think that's kind of the big talking point for this season is the away games. It kind of takes away that home field advantage a little bit. Soldier Field always is one of those kind of more rowdy um, fan groups uh, throughout the game. They're always screaming, always yelling. Um, so I think that will be a, a bonus to us, being able to communicate throughout the whole entire game and have that ability to make those adjustments. Blake Martinez, thanks so much for stopping by. We wish you the best of luck. Yep, thank you so much.